Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I've got a question for you guys. I'm working on a little project for my model railroad. And I have this motor. It's a fan motor out of uh, an old vintage 16 millimeter movie projector that I stripped down because it quit working. But this was still working. And uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to wire this motor up so that it will run very, very slow. So normally, normally it runs pretty fast like that. But I want it to be able to run slowly like that. But, and what I'm using right now as you can see, is a uh, electric sewing machine treadle. And it works quite well. Uh, I just press down on it a little bit and it'll make it run. But I don't want it to be variable speed, but I do want it to run very slow. The purpose for it being that a little bit of modification is going to become a water wheel from my mill. And of course I can't have it running real fast. Let me see if I can back you up any here. There we go, that's better. So that, uh, yeah, so I can have that motor running really slow. And of course it's going to have a chute coming down over the top. You know, coming down over here with the water coming off the mountain. And I want it to be able to run real slow, like about like that, you know. Slower than that, even. I was getting it to do it a little earlier. But you get the idea. And, of course, other than uh, trying to tape this thing here up and make it hold in one position, that's not very efficient and I want it to be one speed and uh, it doesn't have to last for long periods of time because as you know uh, when you're looking at something on a model railroad or when you're running your trains and stuff um, you don't normally there for hours and hours on end and uh, I would probably only run this uh, on occasion um, so yeah so my question is what can I use to make a resistor? And all I did was plug these two wires from that motor into the uh, feed line off of that treadle. And I tried uh, tried running it off of my one of my spare transformers, um, but they evidently don't put out quite enough warp power to run it. I can show you what I did. Um, I had these hooked up like this, you know. And even by cranking that puppy all the way up, it's still not enough to turn that motor at all. Just doesn't get it. That's 120 volt, and this is, um, well, its output is 6 volts, um, and uh, the total is. 18 volts. So that's not going to work. Um, so I'm thinking I probably need... Oh, I have no idea. I have to fix my ohm meter. I think I popped the fuse in it and there goes my screw on the floor. I think I popped my fuse in it when I was trying to test the resistance in that treadle and I had the treadle plugged in. Uh, so yeah, so that's my question. What kind of simple resistance unit can I use to run this? I suppose if worse comes to worse, I could mount this on a separate shaft, put the motor down underneath the layout, and uh, run it up and have a belt running um, a much larger pulley with this motor spinning fast down underneath 
and have all that stuff inside. Of course, I was planning on having it set up so this motor would be inside the building anyway, so you wouldn't see the motor. Well, you get the idea. So, one of you electronics whizzes out there, maybe you can give me an idea. I already tried using a, a electric light dimmer switch and either the switch is junk or just it won't work for this application and uh, yeah so uh, any ideas you have would be gratefully appreciated thanks for watching and thanks for your help bye now